Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Vampire YGO here again with another Infernoble Knight deck profile. Um, I did one a few days ago that I posted that I basically is the one I've pretty much been playing with the most. This is an alternate version to that because there's a few different versions that are still very, very efficient. And they, they, they very, very slightly, I should say. And um, basically, I, this one doesn't have any hand traps, so it's missing the gamma package with the E emergency teleport. Um, and yeah, so you'll see like the differences in here. With This one also has the Armageddon Knight and the Plague Spreader Zombie portion as well that I do not have in the other profile. Uh, but let's get it going. We have the two Renan, just like um, the prior profile. It's going to be very similar besides, I think, five or six cards. Um, your special summon from the hand when you have the other fire warrior monster on the field and on top of it as well your graveyard recursion for the equip or the fire another fire warrior from your grave to your hand and then also can be a tuner as well and then again my favorite artwork i think the infernal artwork is amazing they did, they did a great job um i mean they always do in general but then even the regular noble knight stuff is really well done and the lore is amazing um two infernoble knight oliver like the previous one um you get to do the send to the grave to special summon and then it can also attach from grave to get the equip to protect from destruction as well there and then yeah again it's also just a special summon another way of getting through hand traps and then can also be uh i think goes to level one as well when it's special summon that way because it is a tuner and then you have ogier with um, which is a great normal summon as well. It's like, kind of like a foolish burial. You send your um, either the noble arms equip to the grave or a fire warrior monster to the grave. Um, usually you're going to want to send, uh, I want to say either the gear freed or uh, red lay or something like that. Or even again, um, depending, you can also send the uh, divine phoenix blade as well. Um, but its effect goes off whether it's normal or special summon, which is one of the great things about it. Um, Ogier is awesome. The artwork, again, really cool. And then, yeah, it can also do the same thing like the Oliver, where it attaches from Grave and by um, equipping to a uh, Noble Knight monster that you have. And then also you can basically protect it from being targeted instead. Or sorry, the... Um, Oliver protects from targeting, my bad, and the Ogre protects from the destruction. I don't know why it's flipping them. Two fire, two fire flint lady, um, special summon from the hand, and then gets you the extra special summon from the field from your hand as well, depending on if you're going to use this one or not. This is one you'll use with the uh, Renaud for the synchro summon for the, uh, what do you want to call it? The, darn it, the formula synchron. <laughs> and then the Two super quantum red layer like the prior one as well, used for the special summon and for the hand synchro with the Tatsunoko to get either your Omega or the uh, Boral Savage. The one Gear Freed, if I had a second one in this profile, I would probably rather have two in this, um, but I do not. But one is still really good, and again, you can usually get it to your, I would say get it about 50-50 if you're gonna get it with the one there depending on what you get in your hand. Uh, but yeah, you're to gate, 3k attack, extremely easy to summon. Three connector, just like prior as well. Obviously special summons you the Aqua Dolphin in defense, and then you get the discard. Um, works really well with the Phoenix Blade to get it again if you get that option with like a Monster Reborn. And then you have the, what's different uh, compared to the last one, you have the Armageddon Knight, you have the Armageddon Knight with the effect of sending the Plague Spreader to your grave and then Plague Spreader, uh, obviously activating the Plague Spreader effect and you get yourself a tuner. So just another way of doing a double summon versus, you know, using the E-Tele to get an Omega. Denba, Despot, and Coltwing, just like prior as well. Genba is going to be your go-to when it comes to um, the effect of a soul. Despot's going to be special summoned from your Needle Fiber, and then your Colt Wing will be special summoned from your uh, your Aurorodon. All uh, necessities for you know, the optimal board. Off to the spells. 
just like before, Heritage of the Chalice. Uh, obviously at three, it's your reinforcement of the army for either a Noble Knight or Noble Arms card. And then, I mean, yeah, you want to run three of this. It's insane. Artwork, amazing. And then one reinforcement of the army. And then you have Durandal. This one searches you for the Fire Warrior monster, level five or lower, and then pops itself. Um, I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's another searcher as well. You basically have seven off the bat right there, not including your Renaz and stuff like that. I mean, and then you have three, the solo equips, the Divine uh, Phoenix Blade, Smoke Grenade, Blue Link Fossil. Blue Link Fossil is kind of like your monster reborn for level four or lower monsters. Smoke Grenade's obviously for the pop. And then you have the Phoenix Blade, which is a non once per turn that you can use to banish the Gimba, put back in hand, discard by using the DDR or even the Aqua Dolphin effect, and then use it again. But yeah, one of. And then just like the prior one as well, the three DDR for the um, targeting of the Gemba that is out, or even the Plague Spreader Zombie. But yeah, definitely want to run at three. You're going to use for your power total dragon, just randomly select, but they're obviously going to choose if you don't draw one of these in hand. If you draw one in hand, then I would say do two in the Living Fossil. Because also, not a once per turn. The one monster reborn. And then, yeah, so you have the Living Fossil plus those three plus the most reborn, so like five reborn cards. Two tactics talents and the one called by the grave. Um, this one is uh, a little bit better going second in, in all. I really like this one, but I do like the other profile a little bit better. In my opinion, the one with the Omega patch package, I'm not sure why, it's just slightly more consistent. Um, but this one is a little bit better going second due to also having, I mean, these were in the previous one, but then I also have three Dark Ruler No Mores. Um, yeah, I mean, this card is awesome. I've played both. They both do really well. Um, going first, though, the other one is a little bit better. But this one is a little bit better going second, I guess. Yeah, three Dark Ruler No More. I mean, explains itself. The Tactics Talents, if I had one more, I would definitely have another one in there, swap something out. And then for the extra, it's going to be yeah, identical. I changed nothing from the extra deck. You're going to have the two isolated. Amazing art. I wish I could get the, there's like a Korean mat for this that is gorgeous with the zones. But yeah, two. One Link Cross. One Halka Fibrax. And then your Rordon, you know, your token slash tuner summoners, all for the combo. Isold, you'll use the special summon the Link Cross. Link Cross will get you the two tokens. Gemba will then uh, synchro summon with the two tokens, making you Metal Marcher, resummon the Gemba, go into Tazunoko, bring out Boral Savage or Omega. And then Hunk of Fibrax brings you out, like I said, the Despot, Rordon, the Colt Wing, and then. Also helps you get the power tool play going. And then the last for the links, the access code talker. I mean, again, uh, it's like a toss up between this one and Avermax between my favorite link monsters. Access code talker is awesome. The artworks on both of them are really amazing. You could even run Mech Knight Avermax in this deck. It's just super, super tight uh, extra deck and deck in general, honestly. Um, the Captain Roland for the um, end phase target to get the uh, equip to the grave and then add a warrior monster to hand and then during your opponent's turn you can quick effect to equip him to the Charles to activate Charles effect and then Charles effect you have the end phase where it equips a spell card from the grave and then equips a fire warrior monster from the deck usually you want to choose Oliver or Ogier depending on which one you do not already have in the graveyard at that time and then obviously gets the extra 500 in tech to make it at 30, uh, 35. One of each. Um, I'm really looking forward to that new Synchro monster. Um, there's another Synchro coming out for uh, the Infernoble Knights that, I mean, it honestly 
uh, looking at it online, I, I don't really remember the effect right as in the now, but I remember um, it looks like it would be definitely worth running. And then you're gonna have the the three low uh, synchro monsters, formula synchro, and you're only gonna honestly use, I would say probably about 30% of the time during your games, maybe even less. Um, if you get it off, it is good though, you get the extra draw. Metal Marcher for the Gemba, and then um, turn, use the Metal Marcher and uh, the extra monster that you have on board to get the Needle Fiber. And then you have the Tatsuya Nakano to get you your uh, Synchro from the hand with the Quantum Layer. And then one Herald of the Arc Light, and then one Power Tool Dragon. You got that ulti. It's pretty trippy looking. It's a really nice ulti. I like when they use the whole card as an ulti versus just some of the pieces. I mean, it looks great. I mean, it's, an, it's unlimited, but <laughs> still, it's an ulti. And then Herald. I mean, obviously, just the negate. This gives you the DDR is what you're going to try to aim for. Or the Living Fossil. And then last but not least, your two Synchro 8s. Um, yeah, you got Omega for the card rip from the hand to add to it if you're already getting that, if you're going that route and you're trying to get the card rips, go with the Omega. You can get at least three to four during that turn most of the time. If not, if you want to play it safe and just get the, this one out and some of those, like I said, with, in your other package with the, uh, Cyframe, uh, Omega, or what do you want to call it, the, the other Cyframe, I don't know why I can't remember his name now. Um, obviously the level, the level three that negates. <laughs> And then he gives you the option to get both of these out in a turn as well. That's also what I really like about the other deck or the other variant. Um, yeah, but yeah, one of each. Obviously, they explain themselves there. But yeah, I appreciate everyone's time. I appreciate all the feedback on the previous profile that I have just posted on it and all the other things that I do as well. If you guys would like, subscribe. Um, if you dislike, please let me know why and then comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any, any feedback for me. I definitely appreciate all of it. Thank you guys very much for your time. Have a good night.